Look at this, time the game. It's got Adolf Hitler on it. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burp. Guess where I'm at? I'm at Big Texas Thrift. Big Texas Thrift over in Garland. So the one I normally go to is over in Irving. This one's in Garland and they actually have a lot of toys here. So I actually scored a G.I. Joe, vintage G.I. Joe board game. Well, I shouldn't say vintage, it was like 2002 or 2000. But anyway, it was a cool board game. Lots of colorful artwork on it. I love it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head in here today. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, let's see. What do we got on the shelves today? <laughs> well, we got a Hungry Hungry Hippos game. Hey, check it out. It's our boy Buzz. We got a big old Dora Plush, uh, Caroline, almost said Nellie, that's her nickname. Uh, Caroline had that exact same plush when she was a kid. We got a Grogu Halloween bucket. Let's see, anything over here? Welcome to Texas Thrift. We're glad you're here. Uh, not really seeing Don't anything. Maybe a Polly Pocket playset? Oh look, it's Ernie. Oh, it's that Ryan's World Kid. It's a playset for him. Looks like we got a little box of Lego or something here. What's this? Looks like a Darth Vader thing. Oh no. <laughs> Big Mac communicator. I thought it was Darth Vader from the back. Oh, what's this? Oh, like knives, like blades or something like that. We got this little matchbox gas station set. Oh, look at this vehicle. It's uh, got like snow camo on it. Look at this little dude. Look at this. It's a My Little Pony popcorn movie theater. Oh, look at that. We got the little balcony where they can sit. Here's the movie screen. Oh, that's fun. That's really cute. All right. Well, we got a wall full of baggies here. So let's get to rummaging. Little Skeletor C3PO. And I don't know who these guys are. They're like little, uh, like jesters. Oh, interesting. I don't know for them bag. Five bucks. There's a key man in there, too. Oh, and a George Jetson. So I think some of these figures are actually vintage. Maybe these little jester guys are. All right, I'll consider this. And we got some dinos. Oh, this looks like a G.I. Joe Sigma 6. I don't know who this tiger family is. Oh, look, it's Greedy Smith and Dumbo. Oh, we got this Wonder Woman action figure. She's kind of cool. Nice, I just found a RoboCop 3. Be nice if the other RoboCops were in here. We got Saturday Night Live, the best of Mike Myers. Well, the other week I was in here, I found a Dukes of Hazard. Is this, oh yeah, this is another one. All right, now I got two on VHS. Oh, this is a good movie here. Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Major League Two. I saw the first one. I don't think I've seen the second one, but I think I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, we've got a Sylvester the Cat and a Tweety Bird. We also got this uh, one of these Lost Boys from the McDonald's Peter Pan Happy Meal toys back in the day. That was like early 2000s, I believe, or late 90s maybe. All right, gang, I got some VHS and I got a T-shirt. So we'll jump in the car and I'll show you what I picked up. First up, I got The Legend Had It Coming, a Mel Brooks film, Robin Hood in Tights. So this is a hilarious movie. So I picked this up. 
I also got just the good old boys. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Man, look how hot Daisy looks. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Dukes of Hazard. I also picked up RoboCop 3. Would have been nice if RoboCop 1 and 2 were there as well, but RoboCrop. RoboCrop. <laughs> RoboCop uh, 3 is uh, one I've never seen. So I'm looking forward to watching this. And then I got this cool t-shirt. It says, Dad, the toughest job you'll ever love. Just in time for Father's Day. Father's Day is coming up this Sunday. And uh, I might wear this around the house. The girls usually get me an 80s tee. It says something with Dad on it this time of year. So I'll see if I got anything coming in the mail from them. But uh, I like this shirt because it's like it's got this army green bright yellow i love it all right gang let's go hit up thrift city next and see what kind of goodies they got all right my friends we are here we are at the infamous thrift shitty oh the inglorious glass case actually this is not the same thrift city that has the inglorious gas glass case this glass case here at this one in richardson is usually pretty decent so let's uh pop in here we'll take a look in the glass case We'll take a look at their game board section, and then we'll take a look at their tiny little toy section. Let's see what they got. All right, let's see, what do we got in here? Lots of little knickknacks. Not seeing a whole lot there. And the glass case is looking kind of weak too. There's a Batman. All right, let's go check the toys. Now, the last time I was here, there was a Fievel from, a Ameri from the American Tell movie that I missed. Someone pointed it out, and they're like, Burf, you missed a vintage plush Fievel. And he was right here. I don't think he's been shoved anywhere else. But I'll look... He was pretty big. Yeah, that was like from like two weeks ago, so I don't really expect him to be here. What do we got over here? What's this thing? Oh, look at this TMNT hat. That's kind of fun. Who did this belong to? Something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that says. What's this? Oh, it's a pair of Darth Vader slippers. All right, guys, I think we're going to get busted in the toy section. Let's go check the board games. We got chutes and ladders. That looks like a newer version now. Oh, yeah, 2016. Bull sentence game for juniors. What do we got here? Oh, we got a kite. Advertising or advertising this VHS Robin Hood makes good. Well, here's a Rescue Heroes El Nino cartoon. One of my subscribers, Michael, big shout out to Mikey. Uh, he said that uh, the Rescue Heroes cartoon is actually pretty good, so maybe I should grab this. All right, Mikey, I got it. I got the Rescue Heroes. I've never actually seen this cartoon, but I do like the figures. I think the figures are cool. Uh, I have a few in my collection. All right, up next, Thrift Town, baby. All right, gang, here we are. We're at Thrift Town, baby. This is a fairly new thrift store. Uh, I think they just opened just a few months ago. They actually have a pretty large toy section, but I have yet to find anything really significant in here. Have pulled out a few cool VHS. That's about it. <laughs> so let's see if our luck changes today. All right, let's see. What do we got? Wow, look at this monster. We got a Pokemon Junior Handbook. We got, uh, I don't know what that is. Is that Rescue Heroes, maybe? It might be. Look at this. I guess that's uh, maybe Noah's Ark. 
Look at this, time the game. It's got Adolf Hitler on it. Oh, look at that, 1983, that is old. More than 8,000 questions. And we got this uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi 550 piece fully interlocking puzzle. All right, I'm gonna take a gamble on this. I don't know if all the pieces are there. I did open it up and look inside, but can't really tell without counting them, but we're gonna give it a shot. And I'm also gonna get this time life game, or just time, time, it's not time life, it's just time, the game. Well, check this out. Oh, look, he's got blackface. <laughs> look at this. There's actually magazines in here or something like that. Or it's actually not a magazine. I guess these are just, uh, this is the actual game maybe. And we've got all the pieces in here. All right, yeah, I'm definitely picking this up. Oh, look at this, win, lose, or draw. We used to play this all the time when I was a kid. I played it with my parents. All right, got this opened up. I think everything is there. All right, I'm gonna get this too. Oh, look at this gnarly looking dude. I've actually never seen one like this. I've seen them where they look robotic, but this one actually looks like a dinosaur. Oh, look at this Joker copter. That's colorful. Oh, look at this thing. Well, what kind of playset is that? Oh, look, it actually lights up. Oh, we got a Wonder Woman bendable figure on card. Well, I have yet to really find anything in these bags, but we will take a look. I feel like a lot of the stuff in these bags are really just like baby toys. There's a Frosty bendable. Oh, look at this fun play set. Yeah, there ain't jack squat in these bags. That guy's kind of fun looking. And some sort of dino. Look at this record. Chet Atkins, Teensville. White Silver Sands, Boo Boo Stick Beat. Sounds kind of racist. <laughs> Dang. Look at this Dolly Parton record. Dang, Dolly was smoking. Look at that Linda Ronstadt. Oh, wow. Tom Cruise, Jerry Maguire. Is that actually, are those records or are those laser discs? I think that's a laser disc. Deluxe widescreen presentation. Oh yeah, that's a laser disc. David Bowie, just a gigolo. Oh, wow. I think that's Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, Linda Ronstadt, and Roy Clark. Dangerous Minds. Look, it's Chevy Chase and Fletch lives. All right, guys, so I got the Star Wars puzzle, win, lose, or draw, the time game, and I got this uh, Napa Presents a Concert Behind Prison Walls record with Johnny Cash, Linda Ronstadt, and Roy Clark, I think it was. So, all right, guys, let's go hit up the thrift store next. All right, my friends, we're at the thrift store, baby. Let's see what we can dig up in here. Got some Lego, we got some dwarfs, and that's about it for the glass case. Let's go check the bags. What's this? Oh, we got that Fortnite dude. Can't remember his name. Skull somebody, right? We got a little Dollar Tree Ninja. And a Dollar Tree Batman. Oh, it's the uh, Slinky Dog from Toy Story. Oh, and it's our boy Buzz. It looks like Big Texas Head. The State Fair has this big guy there, Texas State Fair, called Big Tex. I think that's him. Oh, we got some vintage toys here. Maybe that's a sign of other vintage stuff to come. Look at these uh, chameleon eyes. It's like a little face mask, that's creepy. And a little transformer, got a little Batman in there. 
And I'm not really seeing anything. A blue ranger. And a bag full of dinos and sea creatures and all kinds of stuff. And we got that Ryan's World Kid. All right, let's see what's on the shelves. We got a Captain America. I'm Captain America. Yeah, I know you are. Follow me. Way to go, soldier. We got this uh, silver Iron Man. Another cappy. Oh, what is this? Looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle van. It's got like a girl turtle. Venus. What? What year is that from? 2014. That was a girl turtle? Alright, well I think I'm gonna get this thing. It's uh it sells for like 20 to 25 bucks in this condition with the door missing and incomplete. There was one I saw sold for $21. It didn't even have this thing on it, the front the front part. So for five bucks, I think it's worth it. Alright, check that bad boy out. It's missing the door, it's missing the hatch, but I can probably find replacement parts for those. But really cool, I've never seen the girl one before. I didn't even know there was a girl. When did they introduce a girl? So, it doesn't really make sense. Why would they do a girl turtle? It's not part of that woke agenda, is it? <laughs> I mean, April is all they needed. So, but still, I think it's different and I've never seen one before, so. All right, guys, up next, let's go hit up Support Your Troops. All right, all right, all right, all right. Support Your Troops. I've uh, I've pulled some scores out of here. Got a vintage Batman out of here from 1992, or maybe it was 1989, something like that. It's like a 10 inch tall Batman. I also found a big lot of mask vehicles here, or like five vehicles or something like that. So let's see what else they got here. Oh, and I got the Kool-Aid Man popsicle maker thingy. That was cool. I found a vintage Smurf in here one time. Yeah, they got stuff. They got stuff. And I found some plush crash test dummies in here. That was an awesome score. All right, let's see what they got here in the back. Got lots of, lots of nerf stuff here. What's this? Some sort of blaster. I was gonna say, is that looks like Star Wars? It is. Lucas Films. So it turns out this is General Grievous's blaster, and uh, it's selling for like twenty-five bucks. And uh, this one belonged to Cool. Shout out to Cool. I wonder if this is uh, supposed to be on here like this. Or whether Cole painted it to look dirty. I don't know if that's supposed to be intentional or not. It's kind of neat though. What was that? It kind of sounded like a, a droid. Oh, was it this thing? Oh yeah, it is that hammer all right well i'm gonna leave this thing behind only a couple of them. There's a lot listed and only a couple of them have sold like in the last 90 days. Although it is really cool. I'm just not that big into like the new Star Wars stuff. Now, if this were like a vintage Han Solo blaster or maybe a Boba Fett or something like that, I would definitely get it. But I'm going to leave it behind for another Star Wars collector. A teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle puzzle. All right. Well, is that the first place we got busted today? I think it is. I think that's the first place we got busted, I think. All right, up next, uh, let's go hit up St. Vinnie de Paul. It's just around the corner. All right, 
we're here. We're gonna check out St. Vinny's and then we may end the day at Craptastic Sam's sister location. First, let's see if we can get something out of here. All right, well, that's gonna be a big fat no. It says the store will open late. Our system is currently down. We apologize for the inconvenience. I just tried to open the door and they're locked. All right, well, that leaves us with one option. Plaza Thrift, Crappy Sam's. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, final destination. We're at Plaza Thrift, baby. Plaza Thrift. So we're gonna check this glass case. We're gonna check the shelves. We're gonna maybe rummage through some bags and try and finish strong. Let's see, what do we got? Nothing in the glass case. Stumpy Black Ranger. A lot of junk on the shelves. Jeez. <laughs> oh, we got a bag full of dinos. A pterodactyl. if we got anything in the bags. Whoa. Hey, it's a Mario. What else we got in there? A minion. Transformer. Knock off MLP. Look at all these. Oh, there's a frog. Gross. I don't like frogs. <laughs> Is there anything on these top shelves? Look at that thing. It's huge. Got some fun doll houses over here. And what do we got down here? Oh. Nothing, just a bag of junk. Got one of these T Rex Jurassic Night Lights. Oh, we got a Country Fair play set by Fisher Price. It looks old. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. Yes, we got a gas mask. That's kind of cool. How much they want for that? Check that out. That is pretty cool, but there's no price on it, which means they probably won't sell it to me. Look what I just found. I just found one in a bag. They want seven dollars for it. And this one isn't broken. Like this one was kind of broken. Where'd that piece go? Right here, see that? That snapped off. This one is intact. I think I'm gonna get this. It's kind of neat. All right, guys, I got it. I got the gas mask. I got it. Just in case old Sleepy Joe decides to incite a war with China or Russia and they end up sending nukes our way. <laughs> so your boy will be safe. Nah, actually I wouldn't even want to survive something like that, to be honest with you. If I heard there were nukes coming, I would, and they were heading towards Dallas, I would drive into Dallas and be over with it. Cause I do not want to die a long, a long, slow, painful death from radiation poisoning. It would, it would be horrible. So I don't know why anybody would want to survive a nuclear holocaust, but hey, that's a different story for a different time. If you've enjoyed watching this content as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.